Well, guys, we're back with another. What's that? I got my phone. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Just the role play calling. As, hey guys and welcome back to episode number 11 now of season number one of the West Ham United FIFA 21 career mode. We are into the next round of the FA Cup as I'm going to walk you through straight away the calendar because that's the most important thing to do I feel. We have Blackburn at home, actually our third in the championship so not doing bad at all. Really overperforming with then Southampton, bottom of the league on 16 points away at St Mary's. Done my research as City. You already know they're top of the league over Liverpool after we bet them a couple of a couple of weeks back, in fact, as Aston Villa are the last game. And I'm actually going to show you the recent form. This surprised the hell out of me when I checked it before the video. Last month, we went three games, three wins. That's great. The month before, we didn't lose one draw to Wolves. And we won every single other game, including Liverpool. Then the month before, that was two losses, including wins against Man United and Wolves. This time round, and a draw to Arsenal, we are on fire. It's actually till you stop and look at things, you just get it to set in. And it's just amazing to see how well we are doing in this save. So smash a like if you haven't already got to say that. And subscribe to the channel as we are going to pile through this month. And hopefully keep the form going as we've got... Oh, I thought it was going to be like an offer or something there. But we have got the game here on the Wednesday... 3rd of March as we have got a rotated team as well only slightly rotated so we have got some first teamers in it as this is the lineup I'm going to trust to get the points against Blackburn with Fabianski back in goal our cup keeper until he probably leaves four months left on his contract with Johnson at right back Diop, Gavardiol and Masuaku at the back Zima's getting a rest and Kufal who's got five day injury with Ben Rama on the left this time Rice, Joe Aribo and Lanzini on the right as I'm going to try Jesse Lingard down the middle I can experiment against a weaker team I think as Benedetto's definitely going to start up front because if you haven't seen the last game of last episode I am not going to tell you anything about it you've just got to watch it for yourself as if you have seen it enjoy watching this one and this team right here are the rivals against the team we played last last time so hopefully some good luck here against another team as Kaminsky is in goal we've got Elliot Bennett Linahan Ayala that's a good signing and Barry Douglas at left back Lewis Travis Tom Tribal Lewis Holt being the midfield he's a good playmaker with uh, Harvey Elliott uh, right wing, Armstrong and Ben Brereton. That is a young and very, very experienced at the same time in the championship. I don't know about Cup. And of course, great front three. No wonder they're actually pushing up. Harvey Elliott, the wonder kid. Then Ben Brereton, who usually was the young uh, wonder kid. And of course, the main man, Armstrong, who everyone wants to sign in career mode. Gone against it with this team, of course doing the West Ham as I don't see it being an easy game as well this is the round of 16 so if you didn't know that next round will be the quarterfinals this is where we got in the Carabao Cup as Joel Aribo with a great run down the wing from Saeed Ben Rama he's still going to get past the defence what can he do out here he spins inside and tackled from I think the playmaker in the midfield that was a bit of a shocking move to be fair as Kaminsky they're going to try and play out from the back very bold from Rovers now Gavardiol as well Gavardiol oh we've got a run from Benedetto it looks like we're trying to get the runs through the defense which I do like but still not really working out there as Gavardiol switched it across and that was meant to be a back heel from Aribo Paul from him and all his defence have gone up it's Armstrong and Ben Brereton here they've got players coming forward in Holt they've got to try and stop him with Diop Oh, and he's fouled his man. Declan Rice had it as well, as that's another stupid card for him. Is there ever a game he doesn't get carded? I honestly don't know, as now it's Joel Aribo again, getting the ball a lot. The Rangers Nigerian playmaker, as can we get that behind? No. Travis with the block, 21 minutes in, and it has been a tight one, but this guy's getting on the ball a lot. Hopefully a prospect for the future. He's going to pass it in there to Jesse Lingard. Could potentially take his place when he goes back to Man United if he doesn't get signed permanently. As it's now out wide to Lanzini. Manuel Lanzini has got Lingard running through. Red again. Doing well defensively. Even though they're passing out from the back, they are keeping set in stone with how they're playing with the offside trap. However, Aribo with the run through the middle. Joel Aribo! Just over the bar. That's the biggest chance of the game so far. I thought I had to take it first time with Douglas on my back. 
probably the best choice to be fair, but still over the bar. Unfortunate not to take that chance as all. Oh, nutmeg from Declan Rice on the referee is now Johnson. Oh, that was meant for Rebo through the middle as well, but out to Lanzini as he's going to whip a deep ball in and Kaminsky with an unconventional stop. Thought it was just going to catch that, but no. Now blasted out for our throwing as can we get something just over half an hour into this game? It's Declan Rice with a throw down to Dario Benedetto. And this Travis guy, honestly, sensational. Playing rather well for a big game at the London Stadium in his career, of course. As now Lewis Holtby gives it into Tribal. Blocked by Aribo. And to be fair, it might not be a big occasion. They could be in this league next year with the way they're going on in the championship. As Ben Rama has a run on here, though. Said Ben Rama puts a loop in one. Benedetto with a chest and hits it. It was a timed finish. But I don't care, because time to perfection, as Dario Benedetto has two in two now. And a goal just before half time to potentially send us to the quarters. Great goal from the substitute striker. The reserve player, as he runs into the front post, surprises on side, and just taps it past the goalkeeper Kaminsky, probably blocked by Lingard, as I will take that great chest and just side foots it straight at him. And yes, I was correct. It is the end of the game straight away, and it is 1 0. To the West Ham, of course, the scoreline probably dominant in this save so far, I'm not going to lie. And we continue our dashing form so far. Just got to get the win still. Because, of course, it's not going to be easy as all. Oh, they've got a corner. I think it did come off Masuaku last, but I thought it had gone out of players. Going to whip it down low. Ben Rama, surely and ball. As I've still got the ball of Blackburn Rovers in our box. Going to make sure we don't give a foul away as it's to Tom Tribal. Now back again to Ayala. Going to try and build again. As the ball goes into Armstrong, round the corner, Holtby, tackle from Lanzini, but they've still got the ball, Lanzini gets it again. Good reading from the Argentinas, we need to try and get forward as well, two goals should surely kill this cup off, surely, because these are a championship side, should be more than one already. As Benedetto, over the top, it's a great ball into Johnson, who's got a whip on him, but I'm going to try and come inside as we've got a rather back pass that one though to Declan Rice, and I think the move might have gone a little bit, still we'll try and carry on as Benedetto... Definitely fouled. Set piece from this scenario. No Cresswell on the field as well, who's decent at them. So, I don't know why he's took it off Lingard there. I meant to give it to Lanzini. Here we go. Manuel Lanzini against Kaminsky. Going to try and get power on it, of course. Try and dip it a little bit. As it was too far out. Bit of an optimistic shout, though, as Aribo. Oh, bad header back where Armstrong is. It's a Diop dealing with it. Got to still be careful with him. On the yellow card, don't want him out for the quarterfinals as they're passing it around us a lot now. Ayala into Travis, into Bradley Daku. Has he just got on the field? I don't think he started, did he? Because I hadn't noticed him. Bradley Dak, an amazing player for the championship as Elliot gives it back to Dak. Into Harvey Elliott. They're coming forward, creeping at us. Through to Harvey Elliott again. The red boots representing Liverpool, I'm guessing. Still going. Pass Masawaku into Dak. Into... Oh, I think that was Holtby who hit the defender. And Declan Rice actually going to come off in a minute for Mark Noble. The captain needs to play in the cup, of course. It was subbed because of Aribo or dropped. As now Johnson coming forward. The youth player had another solid game in right back as he's definitely going to be the... Back up right back as it's now onto Aribo. Into Rice again. Through to Benedetto. He's coming off for Larin. As Lingard hasn't had the best of games. Can he cap it off with an assist? Not really. As it might just be another squeezed one. It might just be another 1 0 game like the Bournemouth one. And uh, like the Fulham one, as Declan Rice, though, running through the middle a little bit here. Gives it out wide to Tom Lawrence. Came on a bit ago. Into Declan again. And that should have been two before he came off because that's his last action of the game. Could have got a goal, but of course not to be as we've got half a minute left now. Blackburn may be trying to get an attack off, but have gone backwards. Tackled right there as Arebo whacks it forward to Larin. Just blow your whistle, referee. I don't care about another goal right now as there we have it. We are into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. But the first time of asking as well, that is fantastic. They wanted us to actually get into the semis as well, the board, and that's what we're going to aim for. Scrap that. We're going to aim for the final, but that is a very good starting point. As let's have a look at the other results. Man United knocked out by Liverpool. That's great. Arsenal beating Brentford. And Spurs losing to Norwich. A team I think are in fact below Blackburn. I think they're in fourth in the championship. So that's fantastic. Crystal Palace beating Aston Villa. Man City thrashing Hull. Reading beating Leeds. And Leicester getting past Rotherham. Let's hope for another easy draw. And that manager rating. It's only going up as we have fifth position to ourselves. We have played a game over other teams as well which is surprising seeing as we have more cup games than them i thought we would have played less but we'll just keep rolling with the punches as it's southampton bottom of the league going to be a simulation but 
I'm skeptical, and I probably shouldn't be, to be fair, as this is the team we're going to go for. We've got Dragowski in goal again, not going weaker, because we do have a rest after this one with Kufal. Zima, honestly, playing better than Diop, who got yellow carded again with Ogbonna and Cresswell at the back. Jay Hammond, Declan Rice, Suchek, and Ben Rama back at the right-hand side with Lanzini. Tired in camp and Antonio. So I think I'm actually going to change Lanzini out. We can put Lingard on, although I do think at the moment Lanzini's better because of course we can rest players for this one more than ever. 20th place, rock bottom of the league, as let's see what we can do. The Saints away though. It's not just going to be a walk in the park. They do need three points as well to try and survive. So can we keep our form up or are they going to stop it? No, they're not as they almost did. 2-1. They've got a man sent off with 10 minutes to go as Lanzini scored off the bench. And Jay Hammond with the first goal, cancelling out Adam's equaliser. Come on. Oh, and the cup's been drawn. We've got Crystal Palace, which hmm, we've beaten them once this season, but they've beaten us as Norwich have got Man City. Liverpool, Leicester's a decent game, and Reading and Arsenal. That, I, that is a good quarterfinal draw. I think we can get to the semis, boys. I believe we might have another hard game like um, Liverpool if they beat Arsenal. Oh, I think that was the draw. I've forgotten already. Or oh, Manchester City, but... If we get to the semis, I'm happy. And I actually didn't realise when the next game was against Pazers. Oh, it's now. I was looking forward to Man City, which has been put in in the next month. I, I honestly didn't see that it was right on this day, away at Selhurst Park, before Aston Villa next. Can we keep this form up? We're three months unbeaten. Not three games, three months with West Ham's first team. It is astonishing how far we've come, as I'm going to only make one change, I think. Or maybe two, just because of how good Benedetto's done. As we'll go with this one for his team. Fabianski in goal, but we're going back to the strongest one. With Kufal, Zima, Ogbonna and Cresswell. Jay Hammond, Rice, Suchek and Ben Rama. With Jesse Lingard in camp as well over Lanzini. Just even though Lanzini scored, I'm going to play Lingard in the cup. With Benedetto the same boat. Antonio scores more, but... Benedetto's doing it in the cup. And that's the journey so far. You can see none of the teams have played apart from us. These beat the team we play next, Villa, in the um, round of 16, as it's a big game at Selhurst Park. They've got Ian Wright on the TIFO, who they've got in the team, though. I'm proud of that rhyme. I'm proud of it. As now it's Guaita in goal. Nathaniel Klein, Sacco, Kiate, and Van Arnholt make up a flat back four with Townsend, Luka Milivojevic, Makatha, and Ivan Perisic back in the first team with Mateta and Ayu up front. So I'd say that's a strong team apart from the defence, really. Tyree Mitchell, I thought he would have come into his own by now. And Nathaniel Klein. Hmm. So let's see what we can do, shall we? As Nathaniel Klein on the ball almost got there, but Townsend with it now down the line. I play it, if I haven't mentioned it before, I probably have loads of times. It's a player I kind of dislike because of Grimsby, as now Nathaniel Klein into Milivojevic, onto MacArthur now, and they're going to come away with the ball. Selhurst Park is not an easy place to win, apart from when you've got Ben Rama scoring little headers as he did last time. However, they've still got the ball. Ayu around the defender, Zima, who's in a bit of trouble here, but does get the tackle in. They are howling as well for a penalty. You can tell it's going to be a hostile atmosphere right here with what's up for stake a semi-final at Wembley as now Matata with a back heel as well we've took Matata out it's going to be a free kick for Palace what a tight game this is going to be I love it already as Perisic to whip it in and headed Suchek gets it away it's going to fall in the middle and Ogbonna at the second time of asking and Philip Matata passes it back into Andros Townsend now on to Milivojevic as well Crystal Palace definitely starting off the better team right here and we haven't lost in a while so it's making me a bit on edge as now it's out to Saeed Ben Rama though and I like that run from Lingard I really like that run scored in the final of course to win Man United it against Crystal Palace before can he do it this time no he's missed and I think Sacco just put him off at the last minute really good little shove actually no he took the shot before he got shoved mm, should have done better very unlucky as now Zima to pass it back into Fabianski at the goalkeeper. I do want to win him some silverware whilst he bows out at West Ham, but it might be a bit doubtful as it's going to be hard even if we do win this game, which has proven to be hard itself. Now Ben Rama, though, on the ball. Can we get on an attack? We've got the run around us on the wing, but oh, that's poor from Saeed into Mateta now, but Lingard took it off, I think, McCarthy right there. Oh, McCarthy is it's going to go through here to Jay Hammond. He's got the pace to get away from Nathaniel Klein. Cuts back inside for the shot. And it's been given as a penalty. Nathaniel Klein must have handballed it as 31 minutes into this game. 
The ref's pointed to the spot. Selhurst Park isn't in uproar as well. It's just silence. Maybe... Oh, I don't think that is. Now the booing starts coming. Now we've seen the replay where... That's not handball, I don't think. It's going to be Suchek? No, it can't be Suchek to take this. Let's let's give it uh, let's give it to Benedetto because he does have the best. He's been scoring as of late. As the Argentine going to make it in three and three, he does, and it's a big, big goal for the Hammers. Benedetto with the second of the episode, and one that could potentially send us through to the semi-finals. Oh, and look at that celebration. Maybe controversially, I know it's called the Waddle, but could be. Seen as a bird in front of the Eagles, which of course Jamie Vardy got a lot of stick for as he drills that into the bottom corner and we have our lead from the spot. So, so good at getting these 1-0 leads, I tell you that as now Zima. At least we're not going behind in games, it's better than that as well. We could make it too, you know. Benedetto's in behind, Rice has threaded him through and he scored again! That might be the fatal blow already in the first half. Benedetto with two as Hammond's getting straight on him. It's a pile already, even in the first half, as I think our boys think we've won it. What a goal, Declan Rice putting the ball through. He was one-on-one -on -one and it was a dodgy touch, but does well to make to the keeper, Vincente Guaita to make it 2-0 to the Hammers. Love it. Dreamland. What will be even better, though, is a third. I mean, I've never really got 3-0 before half-time, but it may as well could be. Look at this. Oh, Rice with a bad pass, though, as I was cooking it up to go to Jay Hammond, but then I realised it was offside, so I tried to switch the direction as don't give them a lifeline. Whatever you do, are you with a misplaced pass? Ogbonna as well as Benedetto goes for the acrobatic pass back, and I would have liked it if it paid off, but Milivojevic in the middle now. It should... Hopefully, almost be half time. Oh, we've got the ball. No, ref, play on, play on. Jay Hammond could get to this. He's having Nathaniel Klein on toast as Jay Hammond still running. The youth player still running. Shot across net. Guaita with a save. Put that in. Oh, and he's hit the side net as Lingard. He's had a terrible first half. But the team on the whole has not. 2 0 against the Eagles away at Selhurst Park in the first half as Man City lead against Norwich. But I would definitely take this. Come on, Hammers. Booze at the start of this second half as well. As you know, their fans aren't going to be happy. Benedetto to start off with an old dodgy touch. But we've still kept it out to Kufal right now. As Kufal's going to try and run forward. We've got the ball round the corner to Ben Rama. And can we get someone in the middle? Can we make it three already? Saeed Ben Rama's just cut inside though. Saeed Ben Rama! Oh, what a stop. I mean... Very weird shot, to be fair, but what a save from Guaita. Still going in, I think, as that header, we got there first, but they just got their second as Ogbonna now to read it. The centre-back, the big beast, as Declan Rice has it running at their defence. Can he put a ball in? It's a good one, and Sacco has to clear. As this is a much better game than the previous. As Crystal Palace as well, they are 2-0 down and the fans are angry, but I think they should be more angry at the league form, and I think they are focusing for that a little bit as well. No Zaha or... Now, uh, Batshuayi, of course, who scored against us last time, as Jay Hammond's doing well on the, this run as well. He's going to keep on going, Jay Hammond. Put that ball through to Declan Rice. Good touch, Declan Rice! The voice break of... I don't know what. That was a horrible voice break, but we do have three goals now in the FA Cup as Declan Rice makes a great run off the ball, and it's just slipped behind from Jay Hammond, the new Payet. Put it in the bottom corner as well to make it 3-0 and I can't remember the last time the score was this big. I thought quarterfinals are supposed to be tight. It's really good for us going into the next game, the semis. It will really, really put some stuff into perspective with this team as Johnson with a chance to cross, just come off the bench and oh, Lanzini as well off the bench. Both should have linked up for a fourth right there. Real big chance. And the only two changes I've made so far as well as Johnson's got a free kick right here, Zima who's been a rock at the back as well as Ogbonna as he puts the ball around to Suchek. We had a run through the middle there, but Suchek's going to keep on running himself. Flick that in, was meant for the man running, but Lingard to put it in for four. Four nil in a quarter final. Selhurst Park, more like just the London Stadium. It's, it's like we're at home. It's even better than we do at home, to be fair. As what a dummy from Benedetto. Everything thought he was going to get the ball, but no. Let's it go to Lingard. Great touch. And just bangs it to the side of Guaita, having a shocker for four goals. And Mateta here, the big French playmaker, gets the ball back again. Azima there, just treat him like mad. We're going to get away with the ball again. He's got 15 minutes now, just 
slowly going down and to be fair I want this to be over I want to rest players for Villa I might make some more subs as Lingard's on the ball again could he get two in this game he's going to try and cut back inside but that was poor and 10 minutes to go we've made a sub as it's a free kick to Palace I think Klein eventually coming off that's how poor he's been he's even going to get withdrawn in this game when they don't even need any more defenders. As they've got the header as well, but Fabianski gets it straight away. He's going to put it on the floor and try and put that out to the left-back, Cresswell, who honestly hasn't had anything to do. Aribo has come on as well for Suchek, who I definitely wanted to rest. He's been immense in this game as Lanzini has a run on here. Can we find Jay Hammond? Or not even Hammond, it's Lingard on this wing. First time whip in as well to the back post when Ben Rama could have repeated what happened last time but no however I don't think we're in doubt just want to try and keep a clean sheet now as Ayu running all over the place puts it through to Matata and oh are we going to get away with it I thought that was going to be a penalty Ogbonna making I guess a clean tackle as now Aribo running forward back heel to Johnson the West Ham fans are singing their lungs out right now they know they're off to Wembley as we've got one minute still on the clock Milivojevic turning us into Jean-Philippe Mateta, onto Townsend, the through the middle. Come on, boys, let's make it a clean sheet for these fans as it's forward again. Onto Lanzini, now Benedetto, who could make it five, but tackled last minute as ref just blow the whistle now. And there it is. 4-0. Our biggest win in this career mode so far, of course, coming at the expense of Palace. Commiserations, but puts us into the FA Cup semi-final in the first season and oh my days look at that result Norwich have beaten Tottenham and then Manchester City now I would say I want Norwich but to be fair after seeing them beating two massive teams I might not Liverpool and Leicester get to play and Reading and Arsenal that is a classic game if you get what I'm alluding to right there hopefully Ready can do the business as yeah just fantastic as we are in the same position we started off with just Moving up with points, three points more. Still got that game over other teams. As please just drop some points, Man United and Arsenal to make us stay in this position a little bit longer. So we've got games rescheduled. Um, it says that West Ham Norwich has been scheduled, so we must have them in the semis. Big chance to get to a final as Leeds has done as well. Almost one million and a loan offer for um, Connor Coventry. We'll accept it. Why not? What's actually going on with this? As manager updated rating is 95. Is it next month? It is. Leeds United must have been moved back. It is. Leeds United, Everton, Arsenal, Man United. Actually, that's a really hard last month. So we need to try and pick up the points before we get to that to cement our position as that's such a huge game now. It's going to be such a tight one. But in the meantime, I'd say this is a bit of a chiller, but Aston Villa actually in seven. So the best of the rest, I would say. We're not in the rest because we've still got an eight-point gap on them. So I need to get his best team out for it. And at the moment, I also don't think I can... Really change the lineup significantly. We are changing keeper though, Dragowski for the future. Kufal, Azima the same, Ogbonna and Cresswell with Hammond, Rice, Suchek and Benrama. Lanzini back in camp for Lingard who did score, but Lanzini, I don't think he scored, but he definitely ran the game with Benedetto up front. Enough said, both Argentine can work together, of course, from the uh, international stage, which they're going to after this game as well. And, of course, Benedetto has literally scored four goals today. And what's Aston Villa's team going to be? Travelling to the London Stadium. Martinez, very underrated. House, Concert, Mings and Matt Target at the back with Morgan Sanson. McGinn and Douglas Louise with Ollie Watkins, Jack Grealish and Trezeguet. It's really the same team as before. Literally no new signings on the field. And I didn't think I saw any on the bench. So I'm rather excited for this one with the form we're in. Let's try and get some more goals, shall we? Another 4-0, potentially, I don't know, as they do have a good attack as well. Grealish, um, who's the other one? Watkins and Trezeguet. Doesn't fit in the same bracket, I don't think, as Lanzini, though. He does. He's been immense this season. Ben Rama, get that back through to Lanzini. Touch and bang from range across the floor. Unlucky with that one. It's now John McGinn. The Scottish playmaker tackled now and Jay Hammond to pass it to Lanzini. Going to give it to Benedetto right here as we don't even have much pace in our team. That's what I love about it. It works despite not having pace as Lanzini. Give that through to Benedetto. Great run. Benedetto. Oh, and he's off the post and in. This guy has five today. He is on fire, the old man. What a slip in as we already have a 1-0 lead at the London Stadium against the best of the rest. What a ball from Lanzini. I told you that link-up would work. You've got to think outside the box when you're being tactical. As Lanzini, not even Lanzini, Martinez, the Argentine goalkeeper himself, got a touch on it. But 
not enough as it's come off the inside of the post into the left corner. And Morgan Sanson, who scored against us last time with the ball in the middle. Aston Villa coming on the attack straight after our goal, so I'd say this game isn't wrapped up, which, of course, it really never is. As Declan Rice, though, running away with it. Ben Rama at the side of him. What can Saeed try and do? He's got to try and skin Matt Target, which he has got in front of. And can he cross it right here? Can we get someone arriving? Just headed away from... Eric Konsa as now 25 minutes in. They're going to come away with it again. And Suchi out the ball over to Jay Hammond. Declan Rice got himself booked as well in that little altercation of the play switching. As Jay Hammond's doing really well here. Has Konsa and wins. Oh, a goal kick. And Trezeguet on the runaway for himself as he's going to have to pass it back. The Egyptian King into Ollie Watkins. Now again to turn into Samsung. Great tackle. Great tackle from the Angelo captain. Angelic at the back as... It's going to be our throw in. Only five minutes of this first half left. Kufal with a great header as well into Saeed Ben Rama. Across the field to Jay Hammond getting more involved more and more every single game as Benedetto. Back to Rice. Now across to Thomas Suchek. Get the ball through there to Lanzini. Great touch, but Ref, come on. Target has took him out. He's targeted him to take out as McGinn. Now forward to Ollie Watkins. He's going to go back, pressured into going back. Lanzini, good tackle. As they've got, oh, I think Grealish down as well at half time. As guess the scoreline, because I'm not going to be saying it out loud because it's that common. As we're going to go into the second half with the same team as well. No changes to make after how we are doing. Just perfect. And John McGinn passes it back. Declan Rice chasing on his back as now Tyrone Mings across to Sanson. We've got to kick on in this second half and make sure the scoreline stays at the, well, cursed scoreline really, because it's always the same as Ben Rama now. Trying to take it forward, but tackled again. And Aston Villa looking a little bit more lively. Ollie Watkins can get a ball through here to Trezeguet, who's rounded us as well. Ollie Watkins continuing his run. Trezeguet, Diop slid the wrong way for some reason as he's still on the ball. Into John McGinn, across to Watkins. Douglas Louise, pressure mounting, but relieved. And Ollie Watkins with a pass back. Oh, shoved into the back of him right there. But Sanson with it into Watkins again. Douglas Louise, don't let him play it back. Don't let him... Play it back. Villa taking the reins in this second half as it's fallen to Sanson. Slid in and always oh, just put it wide. Morgan Sanson could have got his second against us there. And Ollie Watkins here tackled by Thomas Suchet. Needs to get it again and he's missed it. He's actually missed it. It's a ball through as well through the middle to Morgan Sanson around the corner. They are playing really well at the end of this game and I'm scared to make substitutions to be fair. Ben Rama though. To charge away the Algerian. Can he get us on a counter? I like Kufal's run at the top of your screen, so I'm gonna go for it. Brilliant ball as well. Put out wide. Kufal. We've got runners into the middle. It's a deep cross, but headed away at the front post by Mings. Don't let them get to the side of the field. And they haven't, fortunately, got to the other side of the field. There's Hammond now on the ball. He's got the run around him from Cresswell. It was a good dummy to the side of him to be able to give it into Cresswell. Cuts inside and cuts straight into his man, to be fair. House. As we've got to try and keep it in-house now. Don't let them. Five minutes to go. We've done so well. They've been the better team, of course, in this second half. As terrible ball through the middle. And we should be getting another victory in a Clarent derby. Did get the first one against Burnley in the last minute of the last episode. So that was great. As can we do it again here? Rice, I would like it to be more than one. But I don't think it's going to be. Suchek, whack it. And that's game. The wins keep on coming. It's three wins or four, if you count the simulated game. Out of four, one today, including them two brilliant cup games. As we're into the semi-finals of that and we've won in the league. It's amazing. As we do keep up with the pack, United still got the game in hand and Arsenal actually got two now. Can still go above us, but if we keep doing our job, I'm sure they might get let down at some point or it'll have to come to the final month. Where we play them both. Not what I'm looking forward to. Mostly, I'm looking forward to this game. Norwich City is next month as well. Chelsea, Leicester, Man City, then Everton, Arsenal, Man United and Leeds, who could cause a problem. Sorry, West Brom fans. I know you're the only team that I didn't say. Still, you could cause us to slip up. The other West team in the Prem. As unfortunately, guys, I'm going to end it right here because I'm just tired now after playing them games. I really, really am drained. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel with a notification bell on as well, so you do not miss anything in the future, as we're almost at 1.8 subs, literally. 1.7 was just passed by. 100 subs gone like that straight away, so thank you so much. Let's take care, all of you new people, and you old, as I will see you all in the next one. Peace.